Hey guys, welcome back to another Android tips. And when it comes to Android, no matter how fast is your Android, after heavy usage or you know for a long time usage, they started showing your slight performance. Even I'm using the Nexus 6 with 3 gigs of RAM and Snapdragon 805. I had to start feeling when I start you know a uh, couple of app installation and installation a lot of it because due to my work purpose and you know video filming i need to install a lot of apps to create you know best apps videos so many stuff yes i do feel sometimes like my device getting slow so that's why i said no matter how fast is your android phones they started to get slow day by day until unless you won't maintain it because this is a device in os like you do use your laptop and desktop to make a lot of you know uh performances you to boot the os or to make the desktop work fine so same way you have to do in the android phone itself so there are a lot of ways to you know, make your android device run smoother but i am not going to cover all instead i will be covering only those that are more effective i am practically using daily and they are 100 percent safe there is no risk at all that your device can be break or broken you can lose your data i am not going to tell you any guys anything because they are not uh, you know worth to use these kinds of steps and there's a number one tip that I'm going to show you guys what you have to do. Uh, I will request you guys install Facebook. It takes five seconds to give your Android phone a speed boost to improve your battery life by at least 20%. You know, uh, I made a dedicated uh, video here. Just, uh, you can see the video title right here. Uh, I will request you to make sure to watch. Uh, that's the reason where why should you not be using Facebook. And uh, that was a deep analysis for a month for me that I put in front of you guys. I'm not suggesting you guys not to use Facebook, use Facebook, but uh, use alternative apps that I have shown you on that video. So make sure to watch that video. I, I want to cover all those things here because it will make video long and complex. So and there's a reason why I'm telling you. I'm just giving the reason. You know, despite the Facebook app not showing up a significant amount of power within the Android built-in battery statics. It was evidently consuming more power in the background than it needed to write. So at the moment you, uh, in an average, when you go to the apps and settings, you see uh, Facebook apps generally takes 200 to 300 MBs of RAM. And even though it takes more than 300 MBs of internal storage. So about other videos, uh, here's the title again, and make sure to use alternative apps of Facebook. So and number one, number two here, that was number one. And number two we have here, make sure your phone is up to date. So, you know, uh, uh, when you, any Android uh, OS is built, so they give a lot of uh, flexibility, you know, a lot of things, issues when, when it, it was released to uh, an OS. Uh, all the OS comes with initially like like 6.0, 5.0. When it comes to new version 5.0.1 or 6.0.1, like recently you can see the Android version is 6.0.1. So it contains a lot of fixes from the, you know, uh, apps. There's a setting always in each app of the Android. It just sends feedback to the, you know, Androids, Google Androids. So they can check, see how's the app statics, how much memory and everything is consuming. So they do make a lot of things here, add new features and things all. So you should be going there and checking your phone's update there. So just go to setting and search out for the updates and you get system updates and you need to check out there. You can see uh, it's really checking for updates in the Nexus phone. So make sure to check out the updates, whether it's for apps and whether it's for OS itself, because all the apps, uh, they also take the diagnostic and user report and based on the feedback and the ratings and review, they used to make a new enhancement. So check out the things here. Uh, for example, if I show you guys in the Play Store, the recent updated apps are here. Sorry, my network was turned off. So here you go. And you can see if you go to the my app update so you might be noticing why my device is functioning so fast here so do things here for example if you get to go to the here inbox here you can see uh, they say bugs fixes and performance improvement that definitely means that they have done some improvement in terms of you know uh, that might be uh, you know taking less memory taking less space or works faster so these kinds of updates used to come so make sure to up to date system and the apps itself and the uh, number three is here clean up the home screen you know, these i just have uh, copied just to give another film video otherwise i don't use to keep two pages just use to keep single page so uh, this is an OS, a tiny OS, unlike your Windows uh, computer OS, that is a big OS. And things are same. Uh, they are initial sequence of things when your phone starts and works. So the less number of icons you keep on your uh, desktop, it performs better. The same applies to here. If you keep less number of home screen and shortcuts here, your things will work fine. Uh, instead, uh, if you're bothering about things, so you can install any of the third party, you know, tools like Omni, Swipe is there. I already made a essential ass video. You can check out there. These kinds of uh, things can help you. you. Even they won't take much battery. Let me show you guys here. If you might think the widgets are taking. So some widgets never takes a lot of battery. So if I go and check out there, you can see. Here's the Omni Swipe. 
uh, it takes a very less 64 MB is very small amount for an app and just take 28 MB of memory so that's not a very problem if you have at least a 1 gig of phone so 64 MB is very negative even if app is taking less than 100 MB it should be considered as a very good app so clean your home screen as much as possible remove most of the things and uh, that will make your phone home screen definitely launch faster all right and uh, so the number four is uninstall and disable uh, unused apps even they are google apps too for example uh if you come down to the apps here there are a lot of apps for example google stalls with you like google keep google fit and google, google docs and all and these are definitely never necessary so you can you can see uh, it is disabled i use the uh, ms office so i disable that app so a lot of apps are there that you uh, google playbooks i never read books here play games and ever so play games uh, play moves in tv so you can disable a lot of apps and also there are some built-in apps that you never re really use and so you should be uninstalling that uh, those apps and for example cloud print is never used so i can simply make it full stop and make it disabled so these kinds of things are very necessary if you're not using any app so google print is then uh, full stop so it's never going to keep any make sure to make it full stop otherwise it will be uh, always coming to the app updates and try to in, you can see now it's a disable and zero app so these kinds of things you should do guys uh, docs are disabled so definitely uh, hangouts i'm never using so i disabled it so google itself gives you a lot of things that you should never be using and other apps that you're not using simply good go and uninstall if you're thinking okay after some days or weeks you will use so no problem in the between that they will consume a lot of memories and you know your battery and internal space and data itself so better to uninstall them instead of keeping them and retaining them so and number five we have switched to web-based version of the app if you're not worrying about uh, you know uh, auto syncing feature and notification for example the same i mentioned the facebook app uh, for example this is my twitter account and i never bother about getting a lot of notification because uh, i'm getting a lot of notifications and so i cannot keep on checking and replying them so instead i just to use web-based it is not a twitter app as you can see uh, it is from the this uh, chrome beta i'm using and uh, you can check out there this is my twitter i just made a shortcut to there you can click on add to home screen there is a dedicated video how to create uh, you know uh, android uh, chrome tab to pin to shortcuts and use it so uh, this is a video title and make sure to check out that video is very good video for using the chrome effectively so uh, if you are not bothering about much thing as you can say uh, let me show you guys again uh, i'm using a lot of stuffs here Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, I have both things. So I do a lot of things with the Chrome. And if you see here, Chrome internally takes very less uh, amount of memory that you can see in uh, Chrome Beta. It just takes uh, 4.1 MB. You can, uh, result is in front of you, 4.1 MB in just last three hours. And if you, and that does the job of all the four apps. You can see individually if you count, uh, around uh, 250 to 300, around 100, around 100. So they all, if you combine all they consume more than 400 500 mb of ram so better why not switch to a single app that just takes only 5.6 mb or 4 mb of memory so it's always wise if you're not both even though uh, chrome sends us notification it's not like that if you use facebook with the uh, web version they are not they will send you notification once you logged in they will ask you allow send to notification though chrome itself sending me notification so i don't have a notification because i just cleaned up so switch to web version as uh, uh, for all the apps as much as app that is possible at the number six we have here uh, clear catch uh, using any app or do it manually so i never use any cleaner app so i simply used to go to right here and the phone come to the storage section and setting a story down below you have option of cache data so as you can see right here so it's calculating so weekly or monthly when i see it's executed to one gigs of space i simply used to clear them so it's never wise to you know i just had uh, five and i noticed uh, yesterday's for 484 i guess so simply click on here it will do cleaning of the cache so it will be done uh, when you do refresh so in that way or you can use any cc cleaner like a bat internally they will run on background and keep some memory so instead i used to rely on manually and clean the cache thing so this is how it does and number seven is here turn off auto sync to save battery and uh, reducing running number of apps process too so if you go to settings here right and come down to account so you see um, normally everybody use more than one accounts as i say i have here two google accounts so you can see uh, this is my username i am not syncing everything i am just syncing uh, uh, contacts which i need and uh, contacts and calendar i never bother too much so i make it disable and app data sync i don't know i just want my contacts and that's it so i disable a lot of things you can see keep news and weather google plus google play news time play music so there are a lot of apps that you really don't need so as you can see here right uh, i just using chrome beta and contacts to sync off so in this way uh, you can definitely uh, 
make your uh, phone uh, last long uh, they won't consume as much as battery and that's why they will perform better in terms of uh, performance of the device all right so now we have a next tip here use some third party simple launcher if we have if you have handset manufacturer preloaded a lot of stuff so for example uh, uh, if, if you install any launcher all launcher comes with a lot of stuff that can really make you beautiful i can show you guys a demo here uh, you can already watch i already dedicated playlist android launchers i used to review all the top launchers uh, that i have seen so these are all the launchers i have reviewed till now so you can watch on my other playlist is in the android launchers check out there you can see uh, for example if i go here and change of my home one so i can just show you guys a uh, hola launcher how it looks like so when you do it here and the moment you see uh, they come a lot of stuff here notification widgets and uh, uh, so many pages all there so they are internally separate which that takes memory so i uh, see a lot of things are coming so when you use it now definitely they will they're going to consume a lot of battery so it's never recommended to use uh, as launcher to make your phone look beautiful they look beautiful definitely but they will give you kind of a uh, pain internally that you won't notice is there now you see uh, how simple it is but they internally made something here hola size so i need to guys disable these things on so we'll do it later and so uh, that was the number eight tip and uh, do a factory said uh, if all these things no work so definitely uh, i will suggest of months or within a two or three months to make a habit to reset your phone simply go to setting here and do uh so again search for you'll come to factory data reset if you come down here factory data reset it will erase your all the phone so it is good way always cleaning all the in because internally uh, apart from all you see uh, android itself create a cache that you cannot clear the cache i've shown you earlier that was app itself not android cache so when you do a reset in three months or two months so all things will clean off so definitely very good and there's another tip here uh, you need to enable developer option here come down to you know about phone and uh, build number click uh, six to seven times uh, you already uh, your developer option will come down here then you have to come to developer option here right and come down to here a couple of things here that you should really do for example by default you will get the animation of windows animation scale transition animation scale and animation duration it was by default set to one don't make it off it will make your phone choppy all right so and uh, use to dot 5x because see uh, right now i'm using dot 5x you can see how smooth my phone is working i really enjoying it from last week i did these things uh, earlier made it to off but it was really very cluttery and choppy i didn't like that so this is all you make it in the phone to uh, change and the developer option and you will get all this benefit all right so you need to come down here first and uh, what about phone and turn on this build number here uh, six to seven times then it will enable your developer option so apart from that there are also other ways like routing your device and and uh, setting the cpu clock speed installing custom ram wipe cache partition so as i mentioned 10 tips can work for you and because i've proven i have using you can see nexus 6 performance in front of you how silky and even it's sometimes can faster a lot of new most latest smartphones too so that's why i only told you all the basic tips that can really save your phone uh, from risk and damage and losing data so use that things and at the end of uh, simple uh, proven rule for years of experience using android is uh, make sure to you know shut down your phone once in a week so definitely it does a lot of job even you think your phone is not going to use for a couple of times you should make and shut down your phone for some the hours and all maybe overnight and you can turn it on tomorrow morning so that's it guys for this video hoping these tips will help you and hit the like button if you like this video definitely and hopeful to subscribe me to watch more videos and don't forget to watch all the you know android launchers videos and google long voice commands video and some other facebook tips tips i already put it the link in the description so that's it guys i'm sorry i'm going to talk to you very soon have a nice day and thanks for watching